Hi everyone, my name is Ernie Garrido, the Public Information Officer for your Brownsville Independent School District. And welcome back to another episode of Brownsville ISD Sports Huddle. We're coming to you from Rivera High School, home of the Lady Raiders. We're very excited today to welcome Coach Elizabeth Avelar Guerra to BISD Sports Huddle. Coach, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you very much. Now it's a very exciting time for the Lady Raiders. District 32 6A champs, big ball game happening tonight. Coach, let's go back to last weekend. How exciting is it to defeat the Los Fresnos Falcons and still be undefeated? That was just great. It was an awesome game. The girls played fantastic. They played together as a team and there was a lot of emotion going on on both sides because I know the other side was playing really hard. They wanted to get that win too. So it was a fantastic game. It was back and forth, back and forth. The girls played really hard, they played together, and they, they managed to, to, to stick it out and, and finish it. And so they won in three, so they did a fantastic job. It was, it was awesome. The, the fans were crazy, the girls were crazy after the game, and it was, everybody was celebrating. So it was just a great, fantastic feeling for me. It's so exciting, and not only that, but the Lady Raiders are undefeated. Yes, that's another great thing. We still need one more game tonight. We're playing against Hardington South. So the girls are excited. It's also going to be senior night. So we want the, the girls also want to play for the seniors because it's their last home game that we know of for sure um, uh, before playoffs. So they're excited to play and they, and they want to play well. So I'm excited for them. It should be a good game. So we invite everyone tonight, 6.30 p.m. right here at Rivera High School. Come support the Lady Raiders. All Brownsville fans, come on out. Let's pack this place and be rowdy. It's going to be a great game. Now, Coach, let's, let's talk a little bit about you because you are such a successful coach and you are a, an inspiration, a motivator to so many of our young athletes. Tell us a little bit about your credentials and your, all your accomplishments. Um, okay. <laughs> um, it's a lot, everyone. Yeah. It's a lot. I've been coaching. This is my 25th year, and I was uh, fortunate enough to, with the girls that I have to get my 500 win this year. So that was fantastic, it was a great celebration. The girls were excited, so, but I, that is also not just due, due to them, it's due to the, all the wonderful players that I've had throughout the years. Um, we are a school that, um, not many of our kids play club because we're not in a, in a rich area, so it's harder for them, but some managed to do it. But this year we had a good, a good group, but even like that, a lot of girls, they, they work hard and they, practice hard and they buy into it and that's what it is they have to buy into the fact that they can do it and so you know it takes a little bit of time but once they buy into it and they know they're capable they work hard and uh, we've had a lot of good good teams we've, we've won district this is our eighth time that we win district for the school it's ninth, but the eighth time that we won district since i've been here and the eighth time that we've won district since i've been here and, but we've been in the playoffs uh, 16 times. This is going to be our 16th time. So the girls have done an awesome job and it's, it's because they work hard, the, the, what they put in. Of course, my coaches are awesome too. I have my assistant coaches that they all help me uh, when, we're, when we're playing the games. A lot of them, they have their job and they're, they're very good. Uh, I have to give a lot of credit to them too because they help with a placement and who's doing what and what you can do to be successful. And so I give a lot of credit to my, my assistant coaches, which are Richard Guerra, Shirley Zuniga, Cindy Sierra, Thomas Brashear. You know, they all help me. And with them and the girls working as hard as they do, starting from that first year when I got here, it's been one after the other that have, have dedicated themselves to do what they have to do. And I want to thank them, all those girls that have played for me, because I'm here because of them. Correct, correct. And on a side note, uh, y'all probably just heard the school bell and Brownsville ISD Sports Huddle comes to your campuses during school hours. We want to meet here where the students are, where the coaches are. So a lot of times you are going to hear the bell ring, you are going to see students coming to class, but that's what we want to capture and bring to everyone watching. So coach, let's go back to talking about the success, not only of your program, but your students. A lot of your former students are now doing great things here at BISD, what can you tell us about that? Well, it's exciting. A lot of my girls uh, are coaching now, and which to me, that's awesome um, to know that they learned enough from me to where they can go out and they can help other kids. When I first came, uh, started coaching, I love coaching and everything, but I learned a lot in college about technique and stuff like that that um, I didn't know at first. And so when I graduated, to me, I, I wanted to help the kids by teaching them 
a lot of technique to be better at individual um, skills and then to be able to come together as a team and use those skills to make the team better. What message do you have to any elementary, middle school students that are watching and want to be a part of your volleyball program? What message do you have for them? I love, I would love for all of you guys to come over here. I want you here. We want to work with you and we want to help you because not only does sports help you here, but it also helps you in your future. It's going to help you to deal with stress. It's going to help you to deal with problems. It's going to teach you to be a leader. And of course, the more we have here, the more students we have, the more we can work with and the more successful we're going to be because it's, it's the students and the athletes that make us successful. And one last time, Coach, an invitation to Rivera Raider fans, to Brownsville, to come out tonight. Big ball game. Yes, yeah, so we have a big game today. We're trying to go to our, to, uh, it's our last district game, so we want to get the undefeated. Uh, it's going to be a, it's, it's, it's not here yet, so we got to play that last game so that we can get that undefeated undefeated record, which the girls are really excited about. Of course, we're going to have to fight for it. So the more people are here, the more cheering, the more excited my girls are going to get. So come on out and support us. That's right. Well, Coach, thank you so much for joining us at, at BISD Sports Huddle. Uh, and we invite everyone to continue to follow us uh, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. We're going to be having a lot of interviews like this morning's uh, to profile all the coaches, all the student athletes, and all the great things happening with Brownsville ISD Athletics. Coach, thank you so much for joining us uh, today at the ISD Sports Huddle. No, thank you for inviting me. And mm -hmm. we'll see you all next time.